Welcome back. This is M-Dog, and we are playing Fisher Online. Ooh, I've got two mail. Yo! I didn't know you could mail stuff to people. I caught a tr I caught my trout at 115.76 using a piece of cheese off the dam left of cones in the water. Yo, this is good information. Thanks, Jeff. Man, nice. Nice. Now we just need somebody to tell us about the barbatulas. I feel like I can figure everything else out. The barbatulas, I'm not sure. Does it say they're like nighttime? It doesn't. They're just non-predatory. So why do they like uh, bloodworms so much? Maybe I don't understand what that mean word means. Um, I guess insects or like or worms. I don't know. Different thing. Who knows? Okay, so I feel like some episodes we want to really like focus in on a place, you know, and an, an objective, a, a deal. But a lot of episodes, like I think this one, I want to just like focus in on the quest system. Um, and my thing is like, why don't we end at Germany? If we even ha make it back here, depends on how long we take at other places. But, um, like, let's see what's the, what's the daily. All right. Daily is trout at thousand islands. I don't think we'll do that. What about, what about that other place that we like so much? What's it called? Oh, here it is. Tugan. A lot of Tugan. Can we try that? I think we can try that, right? Let's go try the Tugan daily. That might be doable. Didn't we catch one Tugan out at our Bream spot? I don't remember what the bait was, though. It was like... Maybe Bark... Maggots or bark beetle, I think. At least what the records were. Tugan. Oh, it's mayfly larva. Oh, that's too bad because those are expensive. But I guess it's totally worth it if we can actually finish the... The daily, right? Double pellet. Interesting. Okay, so now the question is... I think the question here is, can we catch them from the shore? You know, I'm really curious about that. Let's see if we can. It'd be nice because then we don't have to travel around. But if we don't seem to be getting them, we'll go somewhere else. Oh, we didn't cast that very far. Yeah, let's just see if they're right here, though. We could also put... You know what? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get our real deal thing out here. How far away is this? This little spot here. That's 46 meters. That is so much further than I realized. Let's just see if anything bites from here. Eh, we might need to go out to a spot where we can cast into the deeper. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So what have we got going? 205 silver. Get some daily done. What's this mission coming up? Whitefish? Yeah. No thank you. Does the... Uh, does this show when there's, where there's going to be, if it doesn't, I feel like that's something that could be added, right? It's like, where's there going to be a upcoming tournament? Oh, we could get daily roach on bread at the angler's house. That's something we haven't explored yet. And the angler's house is fairly new to the game as well, but we could try that. 
I don't know. We'll see. At the angler's house, I'm pretty sure you're not getting, you're not getting something. It's either experience or money, but it's a way you can get like upgrades, right? I think. Maybe upgrades to inventory spot slots or. I don't remember. There's something going on there. There's just systems in this game now that I don't actually fully understand at this point. Hey, we're not catching anything here. Could be time of day, but I also, I don't want to waste time here. We know we had some... At that spot we fished at. Should we go back there or we want to try... Let's try the other island this time. I like this other island as well. And you can get some... I think, I think you get pretty good fishing down here too. So that way we'll have tried both islands. If this doesn't start to go fairly quickly, we don't have to stay here. Uh, I mean, I love this map. And I do think at some point it's worth like spending some extended time. Even just like bream fishing and stuff. But it also, we could do that sometime when the daily is for bream, and then if you stay here long enough, a couple of, whoa, a couple of, like, income quests will be for bream, too. Wait, why can't we get out? Don't we get out here? You know what? I'm pretty sure we can get out on the other side either way. Because I used to bring the boat down here in case I ever needed it to chase something, you know? Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like 23 to the... The second level there. Yeah, we'll just try it here. I do wonder if we need to put something a little heavier to actually cast a little farther. I guess we'll just try it and see how it goes. It's probably worth it to have... What's a big cast on this going to look like? Like, how far clipped is that? That went forever. That's 40 meters. So that's like to here. We actually got out into the deep area. Now this one has a large one, I mean a one hook, size one hook. So we're not gonna catch two gun on that. I mean, I'll change it to zero in a minute. I think we probably ought to try to go for two gun on all three if we're really gonna try to get this daily done. I don't love this daily as much as I'm thinking about it only because, um, you know, we're not gonna get any silver for this. Oh. And these baits are fairly expensive, but the four angler tokens is awesome. So is the deep water closer up here? It's not it's not deep, but it's four meter, which is pretty much what this is. And that's just like 17 meters from here. I don't know that we're quite getting there without ground bait on there though. Eventually we'll get a little heavier weight, so when we don't want to use ground bait, we can still because I mean the at least on these, the test is 15 to 30, so we could put a you know, that's the problem. We're not getting the full test, right? So it doesn't hardly cast. Kind of feel like we're just wasting time right now.
All right, that went 21 meters. So that's definitely going to be, you know, in that next level of of area, which is what we want. We want to get it past the first shelf, basically. All right, there's a large Tugan. I love it. All right, let's see where this lands. Perfect. Perfect. That is a lot of Tugan, though. I, I, I could see us giving up pretty quick here if they don't start rolling in. We have to have 720 grams. What's 720 divided by 62? More than 10? And that was a large one too, right? So we're actually talking more like, you know, 15 to 20 in all likelihood. All right, there's a Tugan. Again, if we make pretty good progress, then we'll do it. I'll keep this one shallow in case that middle one doesn't doesn't end up working as good. But yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. That's, that wasn't a Tugan. So yeah, we're gonna we're going all out here. We're gonna get to that second shelf. Oh yeah, beautiful. All right, it's morning time. Let's see if they start coming in. Golly, that was quick. If this is a Tugan, it's gonna be a nice one, but we also might catch some like smaller white fish, even though we are using the zero hooks. But if this is a Tugan, it's great. I'm just guessing it's not. It's a little too big for Tugan, right? Is that a perch? Get out of here with your crazy self. Name that fish. Did you get it already? Yeah, if that happens many more times, we're piecing out, right? Ooh. 1.752? Wait, does that mean the perch has to be... No, we just need, I'm not sure what that means. Let's just take it and see what it means. I think that's a Tugan. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we just need total weight of one point. So yeah, that'll be easy. If we keep catching perch, which we almost hope we don't, but if we do keep catching some perch, we can totally get that. Oh, yeah. Would also be nice, I guess, if some of these Tugan could be turned into um, bait, but they're, they're too, too big, huh, so far? All right, so this perch would give us just over one kilo that would almost do it. We literally need one more like small to medium sized perch. Which of course we will not catch anymore. I mean now that we've accepted that quest, we will no longer catch perch. They seem to like these though. And the large larva bark beetle. I guess we could throw out a larva bark beetle. If we get really desperate. We're over a fourth of the way there on Tugan. So as long as, as long as they don't like get any slower than this, then I'm fine with it. The issue is we're not making silver, right? I mean, this perch isn't worth hardly anything anyway. We ought to just do it, but I'd love to clear that quest so we could start waiting for another one to pop. So we'll get another quest here in a minute 30, I'm assuming. We'll see. I'm
I'm wondering if the uh, leader size matters. Maybe that's why we're not catching any on the third rod. We've got that massive, you know. We've got an 18 kilo leader instead of the, what do we have, a five on the others? No, 7.9, I don't know. It's just weird, like we have had bites on the first two, but the third one, not so much since we went to a zero hook. We're getting them now. This could be the perch we've been waiting for. Excuse me. Yeah, perch like these things. I didn't realize that, but... That quest is finished. So now we'll hopefully get... Oh, another quest didn't pop. That leveled us up to 13, by the way. We were not 13 until we caught that. All right, what maps are open to us right now? Russia, which we've only been to to look at real quick. Germany, we've been to. I think that's it. We'll look more closely in a second. Let's see what the next map is. Not that I'm any, in any rush at all. There's still much, so much fishing I want to do at the first maps, but... Oh, man, just be this like a trophy Togan, please. Sorry, Tugan. Get out of here with your perch. All right, I'm pulling this one out. We're not doing anything with it. And I would rather... I would rather catch... Um, Are you kidding me? We only have four of these left? Wait, does that reset the boat if we fast travel? Yes. No. No, it did not. How do we get the boat back? We got fish out there just waiting for us. Maybe that's why he put the boat like collars on most places. All right, so we need to... Sorry about that, folks. Should have thought through that. Should have just taken the boat back. Maybe I could have just re-traveled to the same place. But both of these places are free to travel to, so. Daily trout. Trout here like what? Shiner baits. They don't get too big. We technically could do that, but... I don't think so. All right, do we want to go back to the same spot or do we want to try a different one? I don't actually know. That spot seemed to be working pretty good. I mean, we're not quite halfway. Uh, let's try a different one though, just for fun. Is this boat invisible? Like, can you... Let's go back to our bream spot. Our dream spot.
Is this going up, up, up river or something? I feel like we're traveling slower going this direction. I don't even think we need to throw very far here, right? In fact, we could probably do it without ground bait on these because it's pretty close to that next shelf on this one. This one doesn't have ground bait, right? Let's just max cast one without ground bait, see if it works. Maybe there'll be less perch down here. Who knows? All right, let's hope that this spot is waking up. Ground bait's sitting there. Tugans are starting to get attracted, right? 652, we're almost halfway there. It'll be interesting to see if there's a Tugan on this third one. Oh, this can't be a Tugan. You ever sit there and you're like counting the hours? Like, okay, if I go to sleep in an hour, I need to wake up at this time to get ready for that appointment. Okay. How much sleep can I get tonight? Got to count it back. We should be good. Hey, at least it's not a perch. Maybe the bycatch up here will be a little more interesting than down there. Uh, not a Tugan? Question mark? Very small white fish, though. Probably a Tugan. Or a very small, disappointing perch. That looks like a nice Tugan. A very nice Tugan. We are over halfway there. Over halfway there. All right, let's see if there's new quests. Humpback whitefish. Technically, we could probably go for that. I don't know. I don't know how rare they are. We would need to go at a large one hook though, I think. 
and probably cast it a little farther out. Mmm. Wait, only reason why I'm holding off a little bit on turning those into fish pieces is on the off chance that a, a white fish, a regular, what are they called? Lake white fish order comes up that n just needs like two or three species or something, you know? Other than that, we probably just want to turn those into fish pieces. Fish pieces. Come on, Tugan. No. This is zero hook and we're going to get wrecked? Okay. Okay. We don't want to get wrecked. We don't want to get wrecked. Don't wreck us. Come back. I honestly just don't know. Oh, we're going to lose it anyway. I honestly don't know if it's... We kind of do want to get ahead of it so it doesn't go off the map, right? I don't know that if it's, if it's liftable with this rod. Right? There it goes. Like, it really might be too strong. Where'd it go? Can we see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's possible. I think it's possible. Come back. No. No, we got you. Oh, look at that large Lennox. It's beautiful. All right, I want to see a I want to see a two gun on this third rod. I don't think we've had a two gun on this rod yet. It's the one that doesn't have ground bait and it's closer to the shore. Okay, I hear you. Let me get this little lake lake white fish in. What's going on with our Tugan, folks? I wonder if there's anything else that catches Tugan. Like, I wonder if they do occasionally go on bark beetle larva or maggots. Hey, it's an Arctic Amul. Alright, Tugan. Prove me wrong, Tugan. 
Right here close. Be a Tugan. Oh, we're about 250 grams off. Is that right? 270? I don't know. Math is hard. Math is hard. Let's check quests. Come on. We can do another experience quest in just over two minutes. But um, why isn't there any income quest right now? Is that just random? Which quests pop up and how many of each type pop up? Hey, it's another Tugan. 217 grams remaining. Oh, we could get Salmon Row times 30 out of that Linux. Let's see how much it's worth first, though. What else did we see? That, several things have liked Salmon Row, right? I just really wonder... Like, what are we going to catch on bark beetle larva or maggots right here? Not Tugan? Seven point seven of Linux. We're not that far off. How much is it worth? Oh, it's experience. Yeah. Nah. We're not like we're not trying to rush experience just yet. I'd rather have the salmon row out of it, but I probably will just sell it unless it's not as impressive as I think it's going to be. I think it'll be like a, maybe a 60 silver fish, something like that. Is that maggots? No. Oh. All right, let's try one with bark beetle larva too. I, I, I think it's just worth it. I mean, we're hitting some big old fish. These, uh, these baits are just too good. So many things like it. It's the only thing that slows you down on the Tugan is that so many other fish like these baits. Uh, these uh, larva. But the maggots, it's just like, we haven't caught a fish on maggots. Like it totally killed the bite rate on it. Is there anything else that we would say? Like caddisfly larva? Or maybe mayfly. Actually, that's what we should try. Let's put a mayfly out there on a zero hook. Maybe? Like there, I bet there's something else that will occasionally work. It's just the biggest ones are coming in on the larva. Ooh, that's another big one. Man.
All right, I'm pulling maggots out. Whatever it is, it's too slow. Let's try bark beetle larva, just for a bit. I think mayfly will work on something out here, I think. Maybe even something like Bloodworm. I don't know. Probably not. What does it say about them? Valuable? Oh, they're worth something. For their size? Small. Psychrophilic. Social whitefish. Psycho... Psycho... Psychophilic. Alright, we gotta figure out what that means. I think I looked up this before. But I don't remember what it means. Ooh, we are less than 100 grams away. The finish line is in sight. Psycho. Oh, wait, how did they spell it? Psychrophilic. That's the problem. Psychrophilic. Wait, what? Wait, what is this? Oh, bar bark beetle larva? What did we catch on this? It has to do with bacteria? Am I reading this right? Oh, this is why we don't want to use this. Look what likes this. Oh, we got new mail. Who mailed us about the sterlet we just caught? Oh, something's on, May something's on the Mayfly. Maybe Mayfly will work. Middle Ride has Mayfly on it. It's not the larva, it's the whole insect. The whole insect? The adult insect. Different stage of insect. Same insect. Right? Humpback whitefish. We're catching all the fish. This is not the fish you're looking for. Is that a grayling? That's kind of cool. No, humpback whitefish. All right, let's try this again. We'll try a mayfly, regular mayfly one more time. Holy cow, all the rods are singing. This is a Tugan, but this is like the world's smallest Tugan. Oh, this is also a very small Tugan. I don't think we're going to be quite there yet. We're one gram off. How is that even possible? Ah, awesome. Thank you. You're the best, Jeff. Thank you. Maybe we've got to go try out Jeff's Germany spots when we get, when we get time. Oh, is that a water body record Tugan right there? Nope. Good try though, M-Dog. Good try. All right, definition of psychrophilic. Oh, thrives in low temperatures. Is that all that means? Growth and reproduction in low temperatures. Well, that would fit for where we are right now, I guess, right?
Psychrophile? A psychrophile? Hmm. Oh, water body record. That is not supposed to be on this bait with a zero hook. Maybe it is, but I don't love it. I don't love it. Hey, by the way, quests, new quests. Oh my goodness. The game has stopped putting quests on this map. We will show M-Dog. He will stop this cheating on the DLC map. Where did all the quests go? To Germany? All the quests got sent to Germany. We have caught some fun fish. That's why I like, you know, once we have some a little bit bigger, a little bit sturdier gear, maybe three like starter carp rods or whatever, just come in here with white fish can be a lot of fun. Not white fish with the, um, this bait, but with a large, with a little bit larger hook. Ooh, we did it. We hit level 14. Oh, we were supposed to take a look at the map. Hey, what if this is another Tugan? On Mayfly. Oh, it is! Mayfly catches them too. And Mayflies are cheaper. A lot cheaper. Good to know. Good to know, folks, right? We got Tugans coming all day. All right, let's look again. We were going to look at... Um... All right, here. This will be a good chance for me to show you... All the places you can travel. Let me take my camera off. All right. So here's the pond, right? Pond, Germany, Russia. What comes next? Poland. So when we hit the next level, we can go to Poland. Oh, and we can go to the pond. This is the new one, a new pond. It's mu it's a bigger, much bigger pond, and it's like a really cool carp carp pond. This will be a blast once we have our carp setups. And then after 15, is there anything before 18? Oh, so then you have France, big boy, big boy carp, and Ukraine. That's the new the map that's been that's fairly new, right? No, it was redone. This is the new map. This is the one that was redone. And that's 18. And then you go Italy? Are we missing something? I think that's right. Italy at 22. Italy's a lot of fun, right? That's the sea. The sea map. That's actually a blast. I really look forward to that. And then, tw oh wait, we skipped Netherlands. Netherlands was at 20. And then Italy, 22. Anything before Finland? Finland looks like 26. Good for trolling. Serbia, Danube, 28. Then we have Iran, Caspian Sea, 30. Scotland, 34. Norway, 37. And that's the highest level, right? And then, of course, the two DLC maps with another DLC map coming soon. Plus you have the um, plus you have the house or whatever. All right, we'll double check the uh, quest one more time. Oh, we got sterlet. So do we have 12.9 kilos of sterlet? There's no chance, right? Because we only caught the two. All right. Uh, how much did that Linux sell for? 131 silver. I was way off. It's definitely worth selling at this point. But we want, do want to see... Yeah, these turn into fish pieces. And that's it. And our total money, 616 silver. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, time flies when I'm playing this game.
absolutely flies. It just flies by. Is there anything we want to catch here? See, I'm wondering if we try to like, yeah, let's do it. All right. So we want to put in, let's go with our, caramel bloodworm breadcrumbs with caramel dough wait did I clip it yeah and then we'll use that. We're almost out of that ground bait. Um, and let's go ahead and use the other one, the vanilla semolina stuff. Let's see how far this gets. All right, daily quest. Um, crucian for income. And crucian for experience. We're ready to go. All right, and then I think I want to try bait fish. See if there's any pike like right over there. Only thing we're missing is not using pearl barley, but for funsies, let's try doing this. All right, so we want to size, I almost want to try two, but let's try size one hook for now. Oh, we only have four bait fish. That's okay, I don't think it's gonna be like a very good bite rate anyway, but all right, we just want to put it just over there. I like it. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. We have seven. No way. I'm going to try a size two hook for a minute. Let's we'll see if we can't hit a killer pike over there. If this is a pike. We definitely don't want to be catching like perch on our bait fish. Okay, that is a pike. 787 gram what are we going for 4.9 we basically need a five kilo pike yeah that's got to be size two right same place bigger hook I hear you, I hear you. And I'm coming. I'm trying to remember, I think this is the doe that was catching mostly, um, like eyed and roach. So we might wanna switch both of them to either bread or let's, let's try the semolina doe on this one too. Now our ground bait doesn't really match it, but that's okay. We'll try it. And then we can switch them to the other ground bait if we want to, but. I also think going to pearl barley might be kind of where it's at, but we'll see.
Ooh, silver bream. Crucian. All right, here's the deal. I'm going without quest. And I'm going to cancel these quests. Because we're going to finish this daily, probably, before we would have that many. I want the Crucian, like when we catch a big Crucian like that, it's better to sell that straight up. We want to put the small Crucians towards those quests, so... I think it's more awkward if we have those quests than it will be to just not like just to not have them now if we catch a bunch of small crucian then yeah it's worth it but we just want to get this daily done you know and if we get lucky on a nice pike in the meantime that's great if not let's just finish this daily and move on Once again, in this spot, the bite rate is just terrific. So now that we've canceled those quests, do they become available again? I don't think so. I think they're gone now, right? Golden. We definitely slow down the pike bite, but maybe we'll find a big one. Maybe if we're patient here, we'll find a big one. I don't know. Maybe at this location, 
A size 2 hook is just ridiculously too big. Should we give it a try again on the size 1? See if we can just get a little bigger one? It's been a little while now and no bites. Heck yeah, carp. We're getting very close to the daily now. This probably won't push us over, but it could, right? That's a large one. Oh, that pushed us. That pushed us. More anglers tokens for us. More fish pieces. more silver back to Germany okay technically we've got enough silver we could get pretty close to our second uh, carp rod but if we're going to be fishing mostly for like gudgeon and stuff, maybe maybe we just hook up one carp rod. Maybe we try to get gudgeon and a grass carp at the same time. So grass boilies, right? Where we're going, there might not be any carp, but that's okay. Let's see. 97.67 on the dam for gudgeon during the day and shrimp at night. Piece of cheese at one fifteen seventy six. One fifteen seventy six. Where is that? Down there. I wonder if um. I wonder if Gudgeon can also be caught down there. But he's saying. All right, let's go try the cheese for trout, huh? I feel like trout was going to be... Wait, did he say brook trout or trout? Ooh, the biggest trout here was Jeff with a, with a bait fish. Are we talking about trout or... 
brook trout. 11576 cheese. And we'll also throw off a bait fish to try to get a trout. Right? 11576. Let's try this. Thanks, Jeff, for the info. We'll see if it works. All right, so we haven't been up to the dam yet. Here's the dam. This has all been reworked. Looks very cool. We can now go past the dam, which apparently is where the trout, maybe the brook trout, brook trout as well hang out. I think you can still catch them on this side of the dam some too. At least you used to be able to. All right. 115.76. All right. So first thing we want to do is I guess that did he say zero or not necessarily it'd probably be a one right piece of cheese on the bottom did I buy cheese yep what did we end up going with a zero let's also just for fun put a one out and then yeah let's put our bait fish out just right over there bait fish we'll see what happens we'll see what happens all right we want to go and pick up the daily for sure Oh man, those Xander quests would be easy, huh? Using bait fish at least. Um, we were catching small bait fish like crazy. Nice XP quest for mirror carp. And we might have to move them around some. Like it might should be over there. I don't know. But let's let's give them a minute. Let's give them a minute. Cheese, huh? <laughs> Y'all think there's any carp over here at all? I could see the carp just being on the other side, but you never know. Okay, let's let's figure out where that next spot was. 9767. On the dam, he said. Oh, it's like right here on the end. I think. That's cool. How big do brook, brook trout get? Oh, small. Yeah, zero probably is right. This These will be so easy once we get our fly fishing. Like, I don't want to spend forever this because I feel like brook trout and trout, once you get fly fishing, you just kind of, if you're a little patient, that's, I mean, that's what you're going to catch a lot of. I, I mean, you know, eventually catch, I think. But. Kind of want to start moving them around, but I just want to be patient too. Definitely this bait fish, like, look how small the bait fish is. Um, let's put this guy over here. Oh yeah, bait fish. Wait, does that have a fish on it? Or has it just gotten loose on us? Maybe it got in the current a little bit? All right, what do we got here? It's small. Eh, 
that might be not tiny, but uh, that's that there, boys, is a pike. Oh, we didn't have one of those on this map yet, though, did we? Now that I think about it, I can't remember. Maybe we did. Yeah, maybe we did. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try throwing up in here. Now I'm wondering, are the trout more like up in that area? Whatever's happening with this one, I don't like it. gudgeon for 24 silver although it's gonna be nighttime soon i'm not sure we're gonna hit eight before nighttime if we get to them at all i wish we could do this while we were going for gudgeon oh see i don't know that that's a fish though i think it's just like not quite heavy enough to keep the current maybe All I know is I don't like it when it does that. Jeff, you might have to tell me what I'm doing wrong if you watch this video. I think I want to move on. Like I said, I let's get some more feedback from Jeff. Uh, let's go see if we can catch a couple gudgeon just for funsies before uh, before it's too late in the day. Plus, this video is been going pretty long. Um, all right, let's go see if we can figure out. What was it, 9767? I'm pretty sure we want to use, well, let's see. We want to use Bloodworm, right? Didn't he say something about the cones? Is this? Yeah, 97, 67, yeah, okay. So, let me make sure I'm right. Good gin. Bloodworm, all right. So we're gonna try Bloodworm. Let's just throw him as far as we can. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but it's worth a try. Oh goodness. Did we get a gudgeon? Did we already get a gudgeon? Wait. Wait a minute.
I see that little perch down there. Got our gudgeon! Yeah, I figured we were gonna have to do it with float, but it looks like bottom actually is where it's at. This is so awkward though, isn't it? It's like crazy awkward. It works though. Works beautifully. Maybe gudgeon aren't at the surface. Anyway, we got our gudgeon. And we got our bait fish. That's almost worth doing just for bait fish, right? Like, so I wonder if it would work like this. I don't know, you gotta get it all the way. It's technically not left of the cones, cones. But is it close enough? All right, what else were we gonna try? We wanna get a grass carp. Oh, I need to buy the ingredients. Don't think it's a gudgeon, actually. Maybe you gotta be. Maybe you gotta be up on the dam. I don't know. It's just awkward. It works though. I mean, we were getting them. You know, we were getting them. All right. So we want to fast travel. We want to pick up some. Uh. Grass boilies. And let's just get some. Uh, don't we have some carp honey? Maybe some universal. Or maybe just some lucky fishing. Or grass silver carp. There you go. There you go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put grass silver carp, grass boilies. Oh, it's a little heavy. We need the smaller basket. I don't know, maybe we do want a large one hook. We're just trying to catch one, you know? Now we could do it like this, but let's don't be silly, right? All right, I'm glad we realized this now. So technically we probably won't 30 size baskets on these guys. Okay, the question is where do we want to try to fish for the grass carp? kind of want to go out to the island that I've never fished from before see what it looks like out here we also just got to figure out I guess we could try to hit a tench just use worm we don't have any crawfish tails yet right worm bread try to hit tench 
We just need a single tinch, you know? Uh, does any of this look like grass pike weather? I mean, area. What does grass pike area supposed to look like? Maybe this over here? I don't know. We'll just try it. So what else were we going to do? Size one hook, worm, uh, tench crucian stuff. Sure, why not? Size one hook, bread, tench crucian stuff. Go retrieve boat, just in case. I don't know that my instincts are very good on that spot for grass carp though. Sometimes grass carp are pretty special. I just don't remember hitting a lot of grass carp on this map, so I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just because I really haven't targeted them. I tend to go for the carp and the mirror carp here. All right, this could be it. I think it might be. Just my brief view of it there made me think maybe it is. This is one of those, we're going to try to get it in from the shore, but be pretty easy with the boat. Gotta be a grass pike, right? Boom. Okay, we just knocked grass pike off the list. Tinch. I mean, all we've got now are the, you know, the tinch, which is whatever. Like, once we get crawfish tail, that's a little easier. Can't we catch crawfish tail at Russia, though? Um, trout, brook trout, we're not too worried about. I could see there being a better tinch place than this. Don't tinch like cheese. Tinch might like corn too sometimes, right? Yeah, we need some lucky fishing.
I don't know. I just don't know. I do think if we use worm long enough, we would eventually get it. All right, we also just want to finish this uh, this order. Maybe we can get another grass pike. I think we can resummon the boat here now. Come on, come on worms, come through for us. Excuse me. By the way, how small are these tents here? Oh, they're pretty small. They're actually pretty small. Let's see what we're getting on tent on cheese. The only thing about corn is I think we're going to catch carp on corn. What about leech? There's carp. Do uh do tench like the old leech? Or shrimp? I have a thing that might tell me some ideas actually. Bloodworm, bunch of worms, cheese, crawfish tails, worm. It does list cheese. It does list worm. Mollusk. Bloodworms. Bloodworms with a large one hook. That's an interesting idea. Might not catch quite as much as worm. Actually, it probably does. We haven't had a single grass carp? Question mark. But we know there's regular carp over here. We might have just gotten lucky with that grass carp on where we went for it. Maybe. Maybe we should double up cheese, actually. Ooh, there's cheese again. I feel like cheese at least is a little bit more specific than just throwing worm out there. Not that it wouldn't happen with worm eventually, but... Oh man. Yeah, and with cheese, we should go zero hook. Maybe catch less carp. All right, here comes carp.
All right, we've done good. We've knocked a bunch of more fish off Germany. Uh, we just got to finish up this daily quest, but we've done really well. I don't know. We're just going to have to, like, for that weird fish, that rare fish, we may just have to pick a spot, put zero hooks on, two feeder, one float, and just try it. Look at this perch. Oh, it's a mirror carp. I was like, what is that? Um... We probably should switch that to a zero hook as well. Because the only thing it really likes is um, bloodworm. Oh, maggots? Okay. Hey, it's a little guy, but it'll help us towards our daily. He's got enough weight on him to help us towards our daily, that's for sure. Tinch might be a little better in the morning, too. I don't know. That's a very small mirror carp. All right, three pieces of mirror carp. Do we have that? One, two, we're one away. Uh, what is that for? 96 silver? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculously good. Tinch like the um, crab red boilies as well. You're going to catch a lot of carp that way, but if you put really small hooks on there, maybe. They like that crab flavor. Tinch are weird. Also not a tinch. Can you even put a boily on a zero hook? Apparently so. I'm too tired to fight it.
Come on, be a mirror cart. Put us out of our misery here. actually a regular carpet in it but man did that crush the daily that was a nice little carp that'll sell for a couple silver Alright, this is on the cheese. Could be a tench. It's a nice tench if it's a tench though. Maybe it's a really, really small mirror carp. Oh, I think that's what it is. We just finished the mirror carp income order, I think. Okay. Um, Alright. I think at least we have a plan for... Oh, that was the easiest silver we've ever made. Almost 100 silver for three tiny mirror carts. Yeah, that's a great question by Unique in chat. So... <clears throat> I noticed that the other day after we purchased the um, the reel we're using on our um, uh, uh, the reel we're using on our third rod. I'll show you what he's talking about. All right. So you see how it says friction 18 kilo, power six kilo. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure that I understand in the context of this game the difference there. I think I used to understand the difference and it may have to do with the the weight of the friction brake versus the power of pulling the fish in. So with these 3000, the Rywas 3000, like it can hold that 18 kilo. But when you try to start moving the fish, I I don't know. I, that's my best guess, but I'm not sure. But I noticed that. So like if you get, I'm wondering if we get a reel that has 18 power, are we technically getting the full benefit? And see, these are even more confusing to me. The friction is only seven kilo, but the power is up to 10. These are lightweight reels, though. Inertialess balanced, 2,500 lightweight professional feeder reel. I mean, that's cool. I just don't understand. All these have the same strength or power. I'm just not sure. To be fair.
Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, it's small enough. I'm hoping we can... I want to get that first line in, too, just in case it's a tinch. I think, I think I'm not going to throw lines back in. We, we need to wrap this up. This has been fun. I love it. But it's a long video, and I do need to get some sleep here soon. It's a carp. Another regular carp. Use our six kilo of power to pull this sucker in. All right, so when we go for tinch next time, first of all, we'll try a different spot. I'm actually thinking about maybe down here under that, like where there's grassy stuff in the water and everything. Maybe we'll try down there next time. Uh, any other like silly quests we can just turn in? Crucian? No, 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 no. We don't have that much Crucian. Not a chance. All right, anything we want to cut up first? Yes. And yes. All right, and we made, what, a little bit more silver? We're up to 947 silver. One question I have is, I'm trying to figure out, do we buy another carp setup like the one we've got right now? I mean, we're 14 and a half. You know, it's not going to be that long until we can go check out the price, see what carp gear they have at the new at the new map, the new carp pond. Now it might be way more expensive than I'm realizing, but if we do another episode of like some cool stuff at Siberia NSA or USA map, if we do our dailies again at the pond in Germany, we'll be level 15 probably, and it might be worth at least dipping our head in there before we spin this silver to see what what's next. What's next? Is there a reel there that has more power that's still like somewhat affordable? I don't know. We'll see. I think we will probably end up checking that out though before spending this silver. I think. We'll see. Uh, and the other thing I really want to do since this is the second map is try to finish these last four off. These guys are going to be really annoying, I'm afraid. But we'll work on it. Hey, as always, tight lines, everybody. Thanks for watching. I will see you again very soon. Peace out.